Yo, we are the Crane Couple and we are back at Bacchanal Buffet, the biggest and baddest buffet in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. We're here for brunch actually. Yes. Which is the first for us. Um, yeah, we haven't been in a little bit, but we've heard a lot of good things about the brunch. It's a little cheaper too at $65 per person. Yeah. It's not bad. And we're here really early, so we get first dibs at a lot of nice food. So. Come join us. Let's go. Uh, I'll take you some bang bang shrimp if you don't mind. Some shrimp. How many you want? Um, that's probably good for right now. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Cool. I'm gonna try the frog leg. All right, salt pepper frog legs. Hmm. That one looks good. Very good. Also, mm. might try this chicken. Exo chicken. Exo chicken. Exo sauce. What is exo sauce? I don't know. I gotta find out. But it looks good, just a little bit. Hmm. You grab a little bit of fried rice for me too, please. Fried rice. That's very good. Thank you. There you go. That's perfect. Awesome. Hmm. What else do they have here? We have. Ooh, we have all the steamers, just like last time. There's probably pork buns in one of these. I'm gonna try one. All right. Oh. It's kind of hard to no. reach. No. Oh, it's just getting ripped up. The tongs aren't very big for this, huh? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's still pretty. <laughs> Brittany's a professional, she knows. We have oh, some other buns. Oh. I don't know what's in those ones. And then we have some shrimp. The shrimp's nice. And then I think there's leek cakes in this one. Yeah, there are. I might try one of those later. Okay. Looks pretty good. And there's more over here. We got some Japche noodles. Fun glass noodles. Along with some kalbi. Ooh. It's really nice. We got some, ooh, is that Korean fried chicken? Wow, that looks good too. As well as more fried rice. Oh my gosh. Kimchi fried rice. Kimchi though. fried rice. Very nice. That's good. Everything has like a list of the ingredients too. Over here we have a big rice cooker. As well as a variety of edamame and peppers. And some accessories yep. for sushi. Because Pickle there's a sushi ginger. section right here. It's this is the happy. poke section. A lot of poke. All the seafoods. I might try an ahi tuna poke later. Okay. Mm. But I know, I know what I like. The sushi. The sushi is actually pretty good over oh, here. Oh yeah, look at them all. Uh, can you grab, um, can you grab one of the bacchanal rolls for me, please? Right. Awesome. Ooh. Thank Ooh. you very much. Looks good. This has tempura shrimp. Cucumber, eel, yuzu with avocado. Ooh, skewers. Oh, those skewers are good. Filipino pork skewers. Oh, no. that looks like a good one, Brittany. Yeah, do you want one? Uh, I'll pass for right now. Okay. Thanks. It looks good though. We also have lumpia. Ooh, here we go. Can I get a little bit of lechon, please? Yeah. Just like a small piece. Like... This piece looks pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. It has a little bit of the skin on there. That's what you want. Oh. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Looks good. Dipping sauce. You can get soups. A lot of soups. Ramen and pho. Tom yum. Egg flour soup. Yeah, and here we have all the little toppings all the to your toppings. soup. Tons of toppings. Very nice. Some fresh, salads. Fresh salads, a lot of them. Winter beets, mint melon, Cleopatra. Oh, this is cool. Oh. This is banh mi. Little banh mi. Yeah, Vietnamese sandwiches. Those look pretty good too. Yeah. They have like uh, little shavings of chashu. And then there's little smoothies. smoothies. Very fun colors. All green. All green. Pineapple. pineapple. And then breads. Everyone's favorite section, the bread. 
At least it's nicely arranged, right? And then all the meats. Ooh, oh, I might come back for some, some nice salami. Or some nuts. Some cheeses. Ooh, the cheeses look good. You want any cheese? Is that your Gouda? That's Gouda. That's I'm Gouda. getting some Gouda. The Gouda stuff right there. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Birthday cake cereal. Ah, it's Magic Spoon brand. Oh, so interesting. Wait, wheat, grain, and soy. You can get milk from your server. Yeah, so you can get your own cereals because it is brunch time. It is brunch time. And just ask for milk. It's good. That's fun. Yeah, and they have uh, granola too. Some little berries. Some, some berries, sausage. some bananas. Really nice. Wow. Little it's parfaits. Some blueberry granola parfaits. Those look nice. And a little avocado toast. What's down here? We have more salads. We have some cute little breads. And the pizza. Pizza. We actually really like the pizza from here. Maybe it, it sounds weird, but buffet pizza can actually be decent. Buffet pizza can be good. Look, they even have a breakfast pizza. Oh, okay, that's a thick pizza. Look <laughs> at that. Here, I'll try that later. Yeah, maybe. Bacon, yeah. eggs, potato, and cheese. There's also some meatballs. And then this is the egg and omelet station. Down here, oh, we have the cutest little chocolate down. Goodness. Brittany, you have to get one. I do. I'm going to get this one. <laughs> I love Coke Madames. Now you can have it here yes. for brunch. Some arancini, like stuffed risotto Thank balls. You, Ooh, There's I might try those later. Italian soup, anchovy buttered salmon. That looks fun. Oh. And then some lamb euro. Oh, that's cute. Pretty popular. Yeah. And then down here we have Latin stations with some salsas, chicharron, guacamole. Colored chips. A lot of chips. There's also some nice drinks here too. This is a, a cranberry orange virgin mimosa. Ooh, that sounds good. Rube horchata, and then a pineapple mangonada with a hint of tahini. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm. I might have to get one of those. Yeah, it might be fun. Tacos. They have a Sonoran street dog. Carne asada fries. What? Wow. That looks good. Look at that bonuelos. These are really good too. Ever had these? No, I haven't had those. They're like puffy oh. tortilla like chips. Wait, I think I have yeah. had those. They look familiar, right? Yeah. And then there's chilaquiles. Ooh, those I might, are really I don't good. have a lot of space on my plate because of the small plate that I have. <laughs> yeah, we're going to run out of space. So of, uh, I'm coming back for the chilaquiles though. Right. Here's the taco station. Yeah, tacos. Ooh. Pizzeria tacos. They're very good. They have lots of them made order. Down here we have some beans, some elotes, some nice looking rice. Ah, uh, the menudo. That's always fun to see. Oh. Nice and cozy. The weather's a little cooler lately. Yeah. Some ceviche. Ceviche. Three kinds of ceviche. This one is with shrimp. This one has white fish in the middle. And then this one's a cauliflower ceviche. Nice, there's a good selection of uh, vegetarian oriented food if you want it. Then there's also a chorizo scramble. Ooh. Monkey bread, that looks fun too. Oh, that looks fun. And then some loaded oatmeal. Mix, loaded. Mix nuts and fruits in there. Wow. And then down here is the pancakes. Pancake and waffle bar. Yeah, you get all the pancakes you want. They have ube pancakes, birthday cake pancakes, red velvet waffle, s'mores waffle, and banana foster French toast. Ooh. That's a lot of stuff. Fun Ooh, though. I'm going to have to get some later. I think we're going to have to come back for that. Yeah. Down on the side here, we have some biscuits and gravy, chicken fried steak. And then there's some more salad, the potato salad, wedge salad, fruit salad. Bro, that potato salad's got like huge chunks of potato in yeah. it. It's got a lot of cheese yeah. too. And then right here we have a mini loco moco. How what? cute. Yeah, it's a little beef patty with gravy and egg. That's fun. That's cute. Yeah, this is it's nice to be here for a bunch of this kind yes. of stuff. Yes. Uh, next to it is the hog heaven waffler. It's bacon, pork belly, sausage, egg, cheese, and blueberry syrup in a waffle. Wow. And then a braised short rib benny. Very popular too. Wow. Mm. How fun. 
fun. And of course, the amazing looking carving station next to all yeah. that. A lot of, a lot of meats. Oh Yum. my god. Oh my god. There's, yeah, we're gonna have to come back just for like the yeah, carving we're gonna have station to come back. things. And of course, some sides for all your carvery needs. Mashed potatoes, wagon wheel mac and cheese. That's cute. It's not just any mac and cheese. It's got smoked gouda sauce. <laughs> oh, it's got, wait, it's got gouda? Gouda <gasps> cheese. Gouda cheese sauce, yeah. Oh, I'm coming back for that. That, that looks really good. It's fun pasta too. Mm. Some greens, uh, corned beef hash. Wouldn't be a brunch buffet without bacon. Some bacon, hash browns, Denver, Denver scrambled, eggs. scrambled eggs. Fun too. The gumbo. Some oh, nice it's cute. And sausage, breakfast sliders. Oh, it's a, it's like a normal slider, but it's got like egg in there. Yeah, and got, bacon. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, they're pretty big. And then little fun fries, Swisser fries. With cheese and eggs and peppers. Yeah. Got some bacon in there. Oh, and bacon. Wow, I, I love enough, brunch. There's not enough space for all of this. Down here, closer to the seafood, we have some vegan items. Vegan oh, chili. Oh, there you go. Plant-based sausage and a tofu scramble. Oh. And then there's some seafood items. Lobster, borsine, egg bites. The shrimp and grits is down here now. And a crab Florentine Benedict. So oh, fancy. that sounds really fancy. I almost want to grab some of it just because we're here. You, you know? want one? Mmm. <sighs> Let me get the shrimp and grits. Maybe this one. This one looks Yeah, that good. one looks nice. Just slide it right in the middle of my plate. Thank you, Brittany. Ooh. Appreciate it. Then here we have a New England seafood boil. Tons of seafood. The butter. Some butter. And then down here we have all the cold seafoods, mussels, Jonah crab claws, Cortez clams, some shrimp cocktails. Some shrimpies. Yes. And fun things for your bagel. Oh, the bagel whole, things. The whole bagel station. Uh, we don't normally do this kind of thing, but it's nice to see it offered right yeah. here. Yeah. Very nice. Very cute. Awesome. Looks good. It's time to eat some. I think it's time to take back plate one. We've got our first plates back at the table. Brittany, are you excited? It's time to eat. First brunch at Bacchanal for us. Yes. What are you going to start with? There's so um, much to choose from. I know. Um, I'm going to start with the XO chicken. Looks interesting. I, yeah. What is XO sauce? I don't know. Man, that's really hard to explain the flavor, but it's like a lighter flavor and it's still pretty crunchy. But yeah, I think it's maybe a little bit of sesame. Um, kind of gives me like light orange chicken vibes, but not orange chicken. It does kind of look like orange chicken. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's breaded and deep fried. But it's pretty good. Nice. Frog legs. It's frog leg time. This leg. is falling so i'm gonna rip that off not supposed to be playing with your food <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> here let's get this one okay so frog legs um are kind of like a mix between chicken and fish so like you'll hear a lot of people talk about it tastes like chicken because it really does it's weird how that works let's see if this one's the same No, that's pretty good. You like that one, huh? <laughs> the salt and pepper on the outside and the skin on the outside is super crispy and the inside is really juicy. Mmm. How does it compare to the salt and pepper wings that we normally get at like the family Chinese places? Okay. I have to know. I mean, it's the you closest can't compare comparison. You compare those though. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. It really tastes like chicken though. Mm. That's good though. Like maybe like a slightly more salty, oceany flavor, but it's more just really just 
It's just little chickens. Next up, bun. Oh, my poor bun. <laughs> my poor little bun. I will say, if I, if I had to knock Bacchanal on anything, it's the size of the tongs at the steamers. Bacchanal, can, can we get larger tongs, okay? Right? I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably watched other Bacchanal buffet videos. You kind of like have to force them open wider. It is but an issue. Nobody grabbed any of these yet, so I basically had to like dig in there. <laughs> Just larger tongs. Poor but bun. It looks good. Dig in, Brittany. That's a good pork flavor. I would say, because it was one of the first things that we had, it was a little colder. <laughs> But the flavor is really good still. That is the uh, the pains mm. of trying to film this stuff for YouTube, right? Yeah. So good though. I love pork buns. We had that before, right? Mm -hmm. it's still as good as it was last time? Yep. Nice. Get the bow. What's next, Brittany? Bam! Meat. Meat on a stick. The best kind of meat. This is a pork skewer. Mmm. Ooh, that looks good. It's a little tougher. It's almost jerky-like. Mm. Excuse me. It's almost jerky-like. But the flavor is good. It's a little spicy. Spicy? Yeah. It doesn't look like it would be. I don't There's a little kick to it. Some light pepperiness. Yeah, it's probably mm. the pepper. But it's pretty good. It's just a little tough. Yeah. I, I think it might Maybe? be... It, it, it is pork. I've got a lot of experience with these skewers. I am Filipino, so. <laughs> the flavor is fantastic, though. Uh, it, it looks really tasty. Mm. Good choice. Brittany's not excited at all for this no. one. No. <laughs> Are you ready? It's the cheese. Oh my God. Yep, great cheese. Would you say it's very Gouda? Enough of the cheese. All right, fine. Tiny croque madame. It's so small. A tiny egg. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so small. I don't want to break it. Well, you have to. I mean, look. Ready? Oh, oh. look at that. Well, that's a nicely cooked egg. Get some of the egg juices. Get some of the sauce. Mm. All right. All right. Enjoy. It's so good. <laughs> Gonna get a few more of these. Oh. The sauce is fantastic. The egg on top is really good. And it's basically like a, if you don't know what it is, it's basically like a ham and cheese sandwich with some, um, I forgot the name of the sauce but like a creamy sauce on top with an egg. It's really good. It's really good. And it's cool you can have this at a buffet. Yeah, and it's so small. <laughs> that way you don't fill up on like one big old sandwich, yeah. right? That's nice though. Don't mind me. It's gonna be here with my croque madame. It's my turn. I have a very different looking plate from Brittany's. Yes. But uh, I have a, an assortment of things, a lot of stuff from like the Asian section, but a little bit from the seafood area. I am going to try the Bang Bang Shrimp again, because it's one of my favorites from our last trip. Double shrimp. It's meant to be. <laughs> Is this like, you know, when it's Thanksgiving and you get to pull the wishbone and then no. split? Like which? Which one's the lucky, the lucky part of the bang bang shrimp? I guess you have to bite it and find out. Mmm. Oh, that's very good. Mmm. That's a lot of shrimp. <laughs> okay, don't eat two shrimp at the same time. It's a lot. Okay, I have a small mouth. But apart from that, flavor's really tasty. I think the sauce, maybe just today, it feels a little lighter. 
than oh. last time. So not as bang bang, more like pow pow. Pow pow. Yeah, a little. What about just bang? Maybe one bang. Yeah, like bang shrimp. Yeah, it still tastes good. It, it, it's more sweet than spicy. Oh. Like, unlike last time, it was more spicy than sweet. But it's very good though. I really like the Asian section. Being an Asian, I'm gonna try a little bit of the fried rice here. I'm gonna make sure to get a little bit of the chashu. Pretty good. Mm. Nicely cooked. Oh, the chashu is really tasty. Ooh. Really good, rich flavor on the chashu. Might need to get some actual like chashu ribs from I, the uh, that section. But there's so much to pick from. I also don't want to keep getting the same stuff over and over too. The lechon. It's a roasted Filipino pork. It's really nice. It also usually has a nice crispy skin, which they separate it. So you can get like the meaty part, or if you just want the skin, they have a bunch of the skin there too. Uh, but I'm opting for the actual pork here. Mmm. I will say, half of the pizza I have is a little tough. Really? It might just be the, that specific cut. A little um, tendony. Oh. Yeah. But then the other part's really good. Okay. At least some of it's good. <laughs> the flavor is really good. It's just the part that I bit into was a little tough. Oh. I was like, you know what I mean? A little hard. Mm -hmm. Big bite. <laughs> That's a big piece of pork, guys. Maybe don't put the whole thing in your oh mouth. Oh my god. I'm very stubborn, so I'm going to continue putting entire pieces of food in my mouth. Next up is the Bacchanal roll. Oh, it's completely obliterated. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh. no. But it wasn't me. I, oh. I just tried to go pick it up. Oh no. I'm still gonna eat it, don't worry. I'm gonna have this. Just grab it. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No! Oh my gosh. It was a mess, but was it a tasty mess? Yes. Nice. You know why? Eel sauce. Oh. Eel sauce on there. It's very salty, very rich, very flavorful. Um, I would have liked actually a little more of the sauce, but maybe it's because my particular piece of sushi kind of fell apart there. Yeah. Kind of hard to get some of the flavors to like mesh good, but it's very tasty. Okay. I like it. Mm -hmm. If you've never picked up the sushi at Bacchanal, I don't blame you. Sushi wouldn't be my thing nor at most buffets normally because it's usually kind of bad, but it's very good here. Uh, I would also recommend the volcano roll, which I've had a couple times in the past. Yeah, that very was the tasty. one right next to it. Yeah, that one's really good as long as you don't mind a little bit of spicy. Oh. But this one's good too. If you want like a tempura shrimp roll, with a little bit of like salty kick to it. Finally, we have the shrimp and grits. It's my fancy dish for today. It's a lot of shrimp on this one. Yeah, I picked that one because I had a lot of shrimp on it. Thank you, Brittany. It looks fabulous. Look at all that. Oh yeah, look at it. Okay. I can't say that I'm an expert on shrimp and grits, <laughs> but that tastes like good shrimp and grits. Okay. That's nice. Um, the shrimp is good. It's got a good bite to it. Not overly squishy, not tough either, not rubbery. The grits themselves though, <clears throat> excuse me. The grits themselves 
Probably the best part of the dish though. And I love shrimp, Ooh. but the grits actually have a really nice flavor to it. It's very creamy. It's got a little bit of spice to it. Not like a lot, but just enough, like Brittany says, just for a little kick, you know? It makes it very interesting flavor-wise, but mm. Oh, I like that. Where has this been all my life? <laughs> I like this. I might get another one of these after. It's time. <laughs> a good first plate. Yep. We're going to go finish up these up and we're going to grab more food right after. More food. Yeah. Trip two, what are we thinking, Brittany? Um, you get some pancakes? Oh, yeah, I need to get pancakes. All right. Mm. Hi, can I get one of the s'mores waffles, please? Yeah, just one's fine. Oops. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Wow, that looks oh good. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is, that is something. Hi, right. good morning, I'm good, thank you. Uh, can I get a little bit of the brisket, please? Um, maybe a little bit of prime rib, if you don't mind. Oh. Perfect. Ooh. That's perfect, thank you very much. Nice. Thank you. That looks so good, Heck thank yeah. you. Oh. Oh man, some nice looking cuts right here. Big old thing of brisket and a nice little bit of prime rib. Dang, those are thick. Yeah, I told him a little. <laughs> That's, That's little. little. That's right little. Right here. Anyway, and some sausages right here. Do you want anything like that? Hmm, I don't know if I might get brisket. Don't think you. about it. I need to get some. And some mashed potato. A little bit of mashed potato. Looks good. And I gotta get wagon wheel mac and cheese. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Get some chinakilas. Oh, this one. Mmm. It's fun. Oh man, took out my whole plate. <laughs> right. Was there anything else down here you wanted? I'm um, trying to figure it out. I feel like there's something that I'm missing there's right here. There's breakfast pizza, there's those little balls. I think I'm gonna grab one of these arancini. Looks cute. Um, oh, we go back to the Asian section and... Calvi rib? Yeah, if you don't mind. I know it's, it's yeah. way back there. It's a nice calvi. Thank just you, Brittany. Yeah, just one piece is good. That's a lot of meat. You grab a little thing of monkey bread. Okay. That's what the heck is it? Excuse us. The section has a lot of popular items. Yeah. It's like one piece. Ah, uh, looks like a good one. This looks like a good one. Uh, there you go. Thank you, Brittany. I think I want to grab one of these funny looking things. Which one? The Hog Heaven Waffler. You want the waffler? Yeah. A big old like breakfast sandwich. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> there's never enough space on these plates. Uh, thank you, Brittany. There you go. Ooh, okay. I think my plate's good. <laughs> I don't know about you. There's breakfast sliders too. Mm, I guess I could try a a slider. There's also the funny fries. Yeah. That's a lot though. Maybe a slider. Lighter. It's got truffles on there too, apparently. Very Ooh. fancy. Mm, fancy. All right, I think this is good. Plate two has arrived for both of us here at the table. So I'm gonna start with some of the meat from the carving station because we want to keep it as warm as possible. Yes. Again, YouTube things, right? So let's start with the brisket. Looks like a nice fatty piece right here. Uh, I want, actually I want this side. See, it looks, oh, look at that. Ooh. Wow. It's just falling apart. Barely need the knife for this. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. 
Oh my god, it's so tender. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Dang. It's this this part right here is what I love about brisket. Mm. Really nice brisket. Lightly salty. A little peppery on the outside. You can see that little smoke ring around the side too. But the most important part, oh, it's so tender and flavorful. Mm. It's really good, guys. Highly recommend that. Yum. Next up, we have the prime rib. I would be the first to tell you that neither one of us are like really big fans of prime rib. No, we are not. <laughs> but we will try it because I know a lot of you guys like to have it. So I'm going to try to give my honest opinion of it. Looks nice. Pretty tender. There we go. Didn't have to cut very hard to get through that. Nice. And the chef did sprinkle a little bit of salt on there, which is good. Mmm. Oh. 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 Processing. Okay, that's a really good piece that the chef oh. gave me. <laughs> I like this a lot. Okay. Right. Maybe it's just because he happened to sprinkle the right amount of salt in that area, but it really brought out the flavor of the prime rib. Very tender, as it's supposed to be. A little rare, which again, how it's supposed to be. Really nice natural flavors coming through. I know a lot of people like to have like horseradish sauce with it. Personally, not a huge fan of horseradish, but we're sure if you like that kind of stuff, it's just gonna make it that much better. That's a really good cut of meat right there. Dang. I could not complain about either piece right here. That's it good. Is absolutely the way I like to have the Carving station, man. Highly recommend, which it is packed over there now. It is. I'm glad we made it when we did, no line. Yeah. Mm. Now for the rest of the non-carving station stuff for me. I've got a lot of fun things on here. I want to try a little bit of the Kalbi. This is the Korean style short rib. Uh, we had it last time we did a review and uh, it was a little tough, that piece that we got. It does happen, it is a buffet. Things do sit, sometimes they just get a little overcooked because big batches, but the flavor was there. Let's see if this is any better Let's than last see. time. Let's see. Better. Oh. Mm -hmm. Much more tender. Yum. Maybe we just got a bad piece last time. Yeah, it's very possible. Mm -hmm. But sometimes little older pieces, you know, they'll stack it back on top. Yeah. They just happen to grab one. This one was a much, much more tender piece. The sauce is kind of sweet. Oh. I'll say maybe almost too sweet for me. Oh no. Mm -hmm. It does taste very good though. Now I'm gonna move on to this funny uh, breakfast sandwich. They call this the hog waffler because it's got a lot of meat on here. Yeah, so look at that. It's like bacon, pork belly, and sausage with a fried egg sandwich in between a waffle. This is... It's something. This is really something. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nice bite here and see how it is. Oh man. pretty good it's very salty though oh i can see that i mean it's bacon and pork belly Woo. yeah mm. the waffle's okay I mean, maybe it's kind of i've been soaking in some of the fats uh, of so the pork a little so soggy a little soggy but pretty tasty if you are looking for a breakfast sandwich option here at bacchanal i'm gonna try the arancini apparently it is like a little risotto ball Little fancy balls on a stick. How about these balls, huh? Two of them, too. <laughs> hmm. Different. Different. It's a little chewy. Oh. I think the ball itself is kind of light in flavor. Ah. But the sauce that my ball was sitting in, very good. Mm. Sauce is good. Sauce your balls. 
You go, you y'all need some saucy balls. Last bit for me. Monkey bread. Monkey bread. It's cute. Like a little fun like cinnamon bread with some uh, icing. It looks good. Makes me feel like a kid again. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Oh. It's very fun. Mm. It looks fun. It's very soft, super cinnamony. Yum. I wish my piece had a little more of the icing. I think that would have really completed it, but very tasty. Mm. Oh, it's so sweet though. <laughs> very messy. Delicious. Brittany's turn. It's my Second turn. Plate. What you got, Brittany? I'm gonna start with mashed potatoes. Because mm. mashed potatoes tell you a lot about a buffet. It's true. That's creamy. Oh man. Ooh, those are good, dude. <laughs> they look good. Mm. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. That looks fantastic. Yep. Super buttery. That's good. Mm. It's very creamy. It could use a little bit more salt, but it's a buffet, so you can add your own salt. Oh. Get the mashed potatoes. Easy. But. How about the mac and cheese? Gotta They're cute. The it's fun pasta. I love fun pasta. Brittany loves the mac. You love this mac though. Raw. <laughs> that is smoked gouda. They literally just melted a whole chunk of smoked gouda on pasta. Oh. Get both. Just get both. I think I know where Brittany's like sneaking off to after this, after this take right here. <laughs> mm. I love Gouda. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Getting lots of nice refills. Service always fantastic at Bacchanal. Fresh thing of morning soda. It's basically our coffee. I need to try more things. <laughs> okay. If you all insist. Right. I know. I will eat that mac and cheese all day though. We got chili quiles. Don't really care with the onions on top, but. So it's supposed to be like a tomato sauce type. Yeah. Uh, with some eggs and some tortilla chips. They're usually a little spicy. Yes, so, so we'll, we'll see. see. But I've liked them before. Oh, a little bit of a kick. A little bit. It's kind of oh, it's kind of gradual. <laughs> yeah, Sneaking it's up kind on of you. Gradual. Oh dear. That is pretty good though. That sauce is Looks really good. good. That's a hearty portion, I will say. Yeah. Maybe almost too big for a buffet. Right. I hope you really like chilaquiles if you get it here at Bacchanal. They're good though. So making sure it wasn't still too spicy. But yeah, just enough kick. Those are good. Nice. You want some breakfast things? Chilaquiles. Now, speaking of breakfast, we got this big boy right here. He's huge. Oh man. Look at the size of this So thing. it's a breakfast slider. You got the hamburger, you got some bacon, and you got a big old like egg hockey puck. <laughs> it's like huge. It's like bigger than the, than the beef patty. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. Actually, it's pretty good. I can taste the truffle too. Ah, I, I missed it the first time around. I didn't realize there was truffle in there. Yeah. I think mm. it's the, the sauce. The sauce has truffle in it. Ah. It's kind of like your typical little slider. It tastes mostly like a burger, but I think with the added little, I'm gonna call it an egg hockey puck, um, it kind of gives you more breakfast. So it's kind of like how you had the, the waffle breakfast sandwich, but this is a hearty burger with some breakfast elements. And the truffle sauce is really good because it's kind of like a nice surprise in there. 
So you taste like the burger, the meat patty, you taste the egg, you taste the bacon, and then it's like, surprise, truffle sauce. <laughs> a nice topper to everything. I'm quite surprised about this. I was like, mm, it might just kind of taste like a burger, but it's pretty good. I had to convince Brittany to get it. Yeah. Glad you got it. It was good. Last item. Look at this cute little thing. The cute little pancake and waffle bar. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Now you have to ruin it. No! Ooh, it looks nice and soft. Look at that. Oh. Dang. Inside of that. Yeah, so you can actually customize what you put on them if you'd like. But I got the, um, the standard s'mores waffle. So let's dig in. So I think it's got chocolate sauce, marshmallow fluff, more chocolate chips, Little marshmallows and then graham cracker crust on top. There's a lot going on on this waffle. Oh, How do yeah. they fit it all on here? I don't know. No! There we Ruined. Go. This is a great waffle. <laughs> it looks good. Mm. Oh, waffles are so good. Yep. It's super sweet, so if you're not into a big sweet person, don't get the s'mores one. I mean, it's a little chocolate marshmallow. But it's so good. The waffle is super fluffy and soft in the middle, but kind of like got a crust on the outside still. Oh, yeah. Is this the brunch to beat? This has been so good. <laughs> a lot of the brunch items have been very tasty. Mm -hmm. We got a mix of like breakfasty items and more like more savory lunch and dinner kind of items. But so far, it's all been pretty much a hit. Yeah. I'm impressed. Now the only thing left, dessert. Dessert time. One of the best parts of the buffet, the dessert. Ooh, it's a cute little pecan caramel tart. It's cute. Oh. Little cones, little, raspberry and pumpkin flavor. Yeah, little cones. Mm -hmm. We got some little compotes, a lot of fruits. Ooh, this part's fun. We got mochi donuts. That's cool. You want to try one of these? Chocolate. You got to get chocolate. Chocolate. There you go. Boop. That looks good. Nice. We also have chocolate M&M cupcakes. Ooh. A lot of chocolate ganache. Those look cute. Do you want those one of those? Are, yeah, maybe we'll grab one. Can you tell we're here during a recent F1 event? <laughs> yeah, hmm. we we'll get all these other ones too. <laughs> Salted caramel. That looks good. Vanilla. Also looks good. There's a fig raspberry tart. Oh, that's kind of fancy I like looking. how small they are. Little bites, right? Especially yeah. after all the food you get yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Green tea tiramisu, a very popular berry cheesecake. It's so cute. Banana cream pies with little beets. Aww. Creme brulee, I remember, was very tasty. Ooh. Uh, Cassis yogurt mousse, a peanut butter chocolate cake. Peanut butter chocolate cake, say Time for less. some chocolate. Oh, there's a little Reese's on there. Cute, looks good. Delicious looking gelato station. Ooh, Lots yummy. of tasty looking ones. Oh, I wish I had more space and time, you know? The sugar-free oatmeal yes. pecan cookies. Sugar-free cookies. That's nice. We have some options here. Some delicious looking egg tarts. Egg tarts. Ooh, cinnamon rolls in little tins. Oh, they're so funny looking. Mm-hmm. Got some breads. Yeah. Apple turnovers right here. And then some croissants, danishes, muffins. Cute little apples. Strawberry jiggly. <laughs> it looks pretty jiggly to me. That's cute. Ah. I might grab one actually. All right, go for it. A non-chocolate item on our plate? It's no way. It's jiggly. <laughs> strawberry cake? Vegan strawberry cake. Ah, yes, good catch. Pumpkin panna cotta, because it is fall, y'all. No sugar added blueberry cheesecake. And an ube chiffon cake. I remember these are very good Ooh. too. Oh, there's a Vietnamese coffee cup. Wow, with a little little coffee bean They're on there. So cute. Everything. And then a tiramisu. Cute. These are good too. They have little covers on them too. Maybe if we can get a tiramisu, Brittany. Tiramisu. Uh, one nice looking one. Thank you. 
chia seed pudding. Fun little cups that some of these are in. And if you want simpler tastes, they have lots of fruits right here. There you go. The awesome. Also, a lemon calamansi tart. That is random. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. We have no more space or no. time. Unfortunately, we're down to dessert. Yes. Which is not really a bad thing because the dessert nope. can be really good here. Yeah, and they have a really good dessert selection too. I wish we had time and space for more, but for right now, <sighs> this is what we have. Yes. What are you going to start with, Brittany? Mm, actually, I'm going to start with the mochi donut. Very fun. I wonder how they stack up to the ones from Japan. Yes. We have been a few times. So with it being mochi, it should be a little more chewy because there's like mochi actually mixed into the dough. Let's see. Chewier. I like the chocolate. Not super chewy. But I like it. Pretty nice? Yeah, it's Pretty not bad. Decent. Actually, I like this probably more than a normal mochi donut because sometimes they get too chewy. I like it. Very nice. I mean, it's definitely new. I don't this remember is, seeing no. that last time. Never seen it. Let's try. Our little racing cupcake here. Very cute. Uh, I guess I'll just have to... <laughs> you got to kind of oh, bust through the ganache. It's very thick. You see and, this? Yeah. Remember, that's not normal frosting. It's an actual ganache. Oh. So ganache is uh, basically melted chocolate. Uh, very rich. No! Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. It's so thick. There we go. <laughs> All right. Mm. The ganache is very creamy. Oh yeah, that's like straight up chocolate. <laughs> I like the ganache. The cake is pretty good, but it's not like overly chocolate. Mm. Maybe that helps balance out the richness of the ganache though. Yeah, I think it does help balance it out. Because mm. for the cake by itself, it's kind of like, mm, kind of chocolate but the ganache is super thick and like literally like you're eating a chocolate bar very nice so that's pretty good together that sounds awesome oh man that was thick we're not done with the chocolate yet we got well this was like a peanut butter chocolate cake is yeah. that what it said a lot of like, peanut butter. so it looks like it's chocolate cake some peanut butter frosting on top some chocolate drizzle uh, I don't know what this cluster is and then a small mini Reese's cup. Interesting looking. It's so cute. It's very premium right. looking. Without too. the little toppings on top, let's get to the cake. Okay. Oh, there's a peanut butter. Oh. Okay. That's good. Don't get the cupcake, get that thing. <laughs> way better? That's that's way better. Yeah. I don't know what this is. It's like a cluster. What does the cluster taste like? Oh, crunchy. Oh. Like a cocoa crunchy? Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Like like cocoa pebbles or rice like cocoa rice crispy bits or something, but they're really small. It's interesting. Yeah. Huh. It's a little crunch to it. Give you a little texture. This is good though. The edges, I will say the edges of the cake are a little crispy. Mm. Maybe sitting out a little bit. Maybe. They can dry out. That's good though. Nice. Good choice. Yep. It looks like one of the mm. best things on the plate. Oh, 100%. I love that. There's so much fruit on top of my jello. I want to try this jello. All right, let's see. I really shouldn't have used a fork, but... That's okay. It's my dessert fork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Saved. Catch. Oh my God, it's such a mess. <laughs> my sushi was a mess and your jelly is going to be a mess too. Oh, is that strawberry? Yeah. Strawberry j jiggly. That's very jiggly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw it bouncing on your hand. 
It's very strawberry -y, wow. but also very sweet. It's a nice, like, refreshing dessert for mm. after everything. A little bit of a palate cleanser. Yeah. Not a bad but idea. But also, don't use a fork. Who's use not? a spoon. Or just take the whole thing like a jello shot or there something. There you go. I mean, there you go. St don't choke on the berries, though. Yeah, watch Be the berries. Be careful with that one. Last of the last items. It's food ASMR. Except you probably can't hear it because it's so loud in here. <laughs> There's a lot of people. Okay, I just got to say... I've been looking at the side of this container for a while, and it looks like a toilet. Uh, a little bit. You know, if you had the like the tank on the side. Yeah. You know, like. It's got that little curvature. Look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look like a toilet. Comment Anyways. below if you think it looks like a toilet. Come on. <laughs> nice pop. All right. Tiramisu. Oh, very light. It's pretty light as far as flavor. You get more of the like cream. Um, I wish there was more. Is that supposed to be coffee on top or I think something? So. Yeah. As somebody who's not a coffee person, I kind of wish there was a little bit more on there. I'm gonna surprise it. It's kind of surprising to hear you say that. But not it's mostly this though. like cream. Oh wait, there's some more. Can it dig oh, deeper? there's a surprise in there. Oh, it's all the way at the bottom. Yeah. Aha. Ah, uh -huh. You don't Let me see, see that very often. Better. It's still very much more like the cream in there. It's pretty good though. Nice. Uh, the cream is very light. It's like moussey, but almost, I worry that it's almost liquidy. That's how like thin it is. It does look a little thin for a tiramisu, mm -hmm. but the flavor is right. And I guess that's the important part. Yeah, mm. flavor is better. You, you got to find a little surprise in the bottom. <laughs> Dig straight down, okay? Yes. Not bad, though. Good pro tip. Thank you, Brittany, for sampling these desserts for everyone. Yee. Nice. Overall, pretty good, pretty good choice. And get we can this. only get a few. Get this. Chocolate peanut butter cake. Hands down, best winner of the desserts. You will like it. Unless you don't like chocolate. Or peanut butter. In which case, I don't know What's why you What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's it for a review of brunch at the Bacchanal Buffet here at Caesars Palace yeah. in Las Vegas. Brittany, how did you feel about this? This was really good. Yeah. I, I love the brunch. Brunch is my favorite, man. <laughs> I think we're brunch buffet people more than dinner buffet people yeah. now. We, we've been to a lot of buffets in Vegas over the years, both breakfast and dinner time and i think this had a great mixture of everything yeah the brunch items are surprisingly delicious oh fantastic but there's still a great selection of the more like lunch and dinner kind of mm -hmm. oriented items and of course there's the carvery station which is always fantastic yeah i mean the prime rib i'm not a prime rib person that was actually very good you even had britney try a little bit i did try a little bit and i'm not a red meat pink meat kind of person and actually it wasn't bad. It was not bad. It had a nice chew to it. Yeah. It wasn't super chewy. Props to the chef, throwing all that salt on there too. I was gonna really... say, make sure there's salt on your prime rib. Mm -hmm. get, get it with the salt. <laughs> but honestly, there wasn't anything that we disliked. Maybe some stuff that could be a little better. Some of the meat, a little tougher, happens yeah. at a buffet. Yeah. But I wish we had more time to review even more food, but there's a 90 minute time limit. Yeah. So, ready, kinda. Especially past here. Especially when uh, you have two people. <laughs> it's a lot to cover, right? Yeah. But hopefully we covered a good amount of stuff. And if you'd like to see more, let us know in the comments below. Honestly, we enjoyed everything from top to bottom. It is $65, which is on the more expensive side, but it is the big boy of buffets. Even for brunch, it's a Dinner lot of stuff. Dinner is more expensive, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And so for us, when we go to a buffet, we're not necessarily trying to get like a certain amount of money eaten yeah. when we go to a buffet. Yeah, we're not over here like, I gotta get all the brisket because that's the most expensive thing here. Right. Um, our goal when we come to a buffet is to kind of basically try everything. And we tried a lot of things. Yeah. And if you like trying a lot of things and enjoying a lot of things, Bacchano Buffet, even oh. during brunch time, yes. is probably the place for you. Yep. We liked it. But have you been? Did you enjoy the brunch here at Bacchanal? Let us know. 
and thank you for watching. Yay. We are The Crane Couple. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, and ring the bell too so that way you get notifications when we put up new videos. It's been a little tough trying to get some videos up lately. We've had some life things to take care of yeah. one of our poor kitties. But we're trying to stay on the grind and grow this new little channel here. Yeah. And uh, thank you guys very much for enjoying. We hope you guys enjoy if you come out here to Bacchanal Buffet. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.